back with us now. Brian, wow. would it be a mistake for wow, the Bucks' wow, defense wow. to prepare for Mahomes like they've prepared for Aaron Rodgers? You know, Jenna, I, I think the quarterbacks are so similar that if you're just talking about the quarterback position preparing for Mahomes and Rodgers, I think you would be almost doing the same thing. Both of the quarterbacks are smart. Both of them are athletic and mobile. They're going to make great decisions. They both have arm strength. They're both creative with the football. I think the biggest difference is, is not just the quarterback. It's more so the things that surround them. And number one, it starts with Andy Reid. His play design, his ability to, to scheme guys open, his ability to use shifts and motions to get the defense's eyes to be looking at different things instead of where the play is going. To me, that's a different level than what Matt LaFleur has been able to do with that Green Bay offense. But I also think about guys like, let's say let's say Tyreek Hill and Devontae Adams counsel each other out. Travis Kelsey is an exception, something that they don't have for the Green Bay Packers. But I also think of guys like Nico Hardman, Sammy Watkins, Byron Pringle. These are guys that are going to make plays on third down. They're going to make that play to extend the drive. That's going to be the big difference from what you see between the Chiefs offense and the Green Bay Packers offense. So if you're just talking quarterbacks, yes. But at the same time, you gotta you got to think about all the other things that the Chiefs offense presents. And those are things that can ruin the football game for you on the defensive side. B, how many years did you play in the National Football League? Nine. Nine. Nine long. All right, years. look, I played 13. And you know what? We had a pro we probably had four or five slow blinkers on our roster every single year. You can't be a slow blinker in the National Football League and last nine years. Todd Bowles, he's not a slow blinker. What is a slow blinker? A slow blinker is somebody who makes the same mistake over and over and over again. It's like, buddy, you have all the talent in the world. Why do you keep making the same mistake? You we can't win with them. Can't happen. Can't do it. They they need to be gone. So I go back to week 12. Todd Bowles was a slow blinker in the first half. And what, what did he do at halftime? He corrected himself. He fixed those mistakes. He said, you know what? We can't keep playing man-to-man -man and blitzing guys. No way, because they're moving the ball at ease. Patrick Mahomes is killing us with his feet. He's, he's beating our, our blitz uh, uh, with his arm and getting the ball out quick. So what did they do in the second half? They did what every other team should have done this year. Play soft zone. Don't let Tyreek Hill get behind you. He start miss, miss, uh, mixing up the coverage. And that's exactly what they did against Green Bay. So they absolutely can go into this game with that game plan they had against Green Bay because it's the same. It's a bend, but don't break a uh, defense. And Nick, they got to Aaron Rodgers with that front four. Shaq Barrett, JPP. That's exactly how they got it done. Mm -hmm. Those four guys up front... Uh, starting with JPP and Shaq Barrett, got to get to Mahomes. And on the back end, don't let these guys get behind you. You can't have uh, uh, Travis Kelsey have 13 catches. You can't have Tyreek Hill doing the same over route that we keep talking about week in and week out and beating you for 40 <laughs> yards, 30 yards. Can't happen, Nick. Yeah, so I, I do agree with one thing you said, Brandon, which is the Bucks' game plan in the second half was a great one and it has been historically the only game plan that has consistently slowed down the Chiefs offense which is get down enough points that the Chiefs take their foot off the gas. It's what they, they accomplished wow. it perfectly wow. in the first half, <laughs> down three scores, is that what you wrote and down? all of a sudden the Chiefs throw it into neutral, and it's a really, really good strategy. We've seen it time and again where teams get down a ton, and all of a sudden they think they've figured it out, but they haven't. But more importantly, I must address this question, because the moment the show's over, I'm going to reach out, to some folks on the Chiefs, and I'm gonna make sure they saw this quote, because I'm gonna paraphrase Shaq Barrett, because here's what he said. Guess what? Uh. Patrick Mahomes with the game on the line, he's gonna go three and out twice. Patrick Mahomes no, in a critical no. end of half no. situation is going to throw an no, interception. No. Is that Patrick Mahomes no. Wait, let me with a chance to tie the game like what he is said. going to avoid no. running into the no. end zone. And you know what he also said? I'm hey, sure he Kansas City Chiefs, your head coach has so little faith in your quarterback, he's going to kick a field goal in the fourth <laughs> quarter, down eight with two That's minutes, so ten sad. seconds left. That's what Shaq Barrett just no. said. Stop so it, Wilds, Mark it down. <laughs> okay, yeah. Folks, yeah, I, I, we just I heard the audio. Said. I'm going to read your notepad again. Quote, Wilds, quote, oh, practically the same. 
bulletin board. Practically the same, Wilds. That Shaq Barrett's yeah, okay. actual so bulletin board. I just want no. everyone to know we have our first one instance of, of bulletin ABC, board material. We have our first board, instance of it, Wilds. Uh huh. No, the bulletin board remains totally empty. Even Tyreek Hill, who has been baited into giving us bulletin it. board material, hasn't given us anything. So the bulletin board remains empty besides your one uh, prediction that the Chiefs are going to score 45. Brian, what do you think <laughs> about the old offense is the best defense? That Tom Brady needs to go out and run the game plan that the Raiders ran where they score 40 points. And I think that Bruce Arians, Mr. No Risk It, No Biscuit, which is usually like throw the ball long, but is also like, ah, let's do it. Let's, let's, you know, try to sneak in another play before the second half against the Packers and Scotty Tuhati Miller scores a touchdown. We've seen people play uh, be, bewilderingly conservative against the Chiefs, whether it's the Broncos punting or even the, your, Bill, your beloved Bills, Brandon, just playing it a little closer to the vest rather than just Love go, him. go, go. Do you think Bruce Arians is going to play that aggressive against? Uh, Patrick Mahomes. Absolutely. I think they don't change their game plan. If you're the, the Tampa Bay Bucks, you got to the Super Bowl operating and, and executing this game plan. You stay aggressive. You still continue to take your shots downfield when they present themselves. And you allow the quarterback, Tom Brady, who's been here for the 10th time in the Super Bowl, to command and control the football game. If there's a shot to be taken to be aggressive, go take the shot, Tom. Don't be afraid to take the shot because you know that the Kansas City Chiefs will put up a bunch of points. We're going to have to outscore them. We just can't play, let's keep the ball away, score 17, and hope they score 16. We got to get the score up if you're the Tampa Bay Bucks. You got to get 30-plus points and hopefully get a stop on the defensive side of the ball if you want to win this football game. Nick, stop being a slow blinker like that head coach for the Eagles now. Can't be a slow <laughs> blinker when you're talking no. up. <laughs> Generally don't talk slow about blinking. The Eagles, don't, don't talk about us. All right. <laughs> I